Good morning. I'm standing at the southern end of Bluntswood Road and we're here to look at number 58, which is the house in your middle of screen now. Um, we're in the best part of Bluntswood Road, right down the end of the cul-de-sac, overlooking the central green. Um, this position is particularly lovely because these few houses here are, are backing directly onto the Pages Meadow Nature Reserve. So literally, way round to the uh, south there and swinging round to the west behind these houses is the Pages Meadow Nature Reserve. It's just a load of fields. Uh, I believe it's owned by the council and you can just about see those trees over the back of those houses. That's the start of the Bluntswood Nature Reserve. So if you've got a dog and like going for a walk, this is fantastic. And that is the shortcut through to um, Cookfield um, where you've got Bluntswood, uh, where you've got the Warden Park Secondary Academy School, the Wheat Sheaf Pub, so a nice Sunday lunch in there. Um, and geographically great. So if you went back up the road, literally just around this corner, there's a cul-de-sac on the right called Hillside Walk. And there's some, an alleyway with some steps down into Lucaster's Lane, which is behind those houses there. And that creates your shortcut down to the station. The owner said he used to walk down to the station in about 12 minutes. A little bit longer now, but it's uh, according to Google Maps. I've got it down to 0.8 miles through the various uh, alleyways and so on. We're also very convenient here for Harlands Primary School, uh, which is also 0.8 miles on foot. So everything's within walking distance. And having grown up around this side of town, um, there's lots of alleyways everywhere. So you can cut up to the town centre quite easily. Um, give you an idea. But it's nice. I'm at the, bearing in mind I'm at the front door. We've got quite a nice outlook looking over the tops of those houses, over to Pages Meadow up in the hill. But once we get on, get inside, I'll give you a better idea. So do come in. Now, as mentioned, the owners have been here since it was built, and that was about around 1978. It was a company called Sired Homes. And um, quite a few, I've sold a few of these for the original owners um, over the years. So it's a, it's a lovely, good, good testament for the, uh, for the address that uh, people are obviously happy living here. So come and have a nose around. So first things first, Got a downstairs cloakroom. That's been refitted. And then going round in order, you've got the study, which would have had the option of as, as being part of the double garage. You'll see when we go in the garage, which is through that wall, the garage is very high. It's got a very high ceiling, so there's a great big storage area. So this is either, like I say, the dining room, the study, currently the bridge room. And that's the view out the front. Handy big airing cupboard there. Sitting room at the back. Great big picture window. That's what we really do call a picture window. Look at that. You're west facing at the back, so the sun sets, believe it or not, when we have sunshine. And I'll, I'll give you a better idea of the garden when we come round. And you've got an electric fire in here, really nice fireplace, an electric fire, but there is a chimney. So if you wanted a proper fireplace, you can. There is a window to the side. Across the hall, the dining room. A couple of people have actually knocked this wall out and made the kitchen enormous. And again, doors out to the garden here. It's a nice separate dining room. This particular part of town is uh, the most desirable part of Hayward's Heath, really mainly because it's it, it's easy for the station. These are all lovely big detached houses and you can walk to all the schools and the, the station for the commuter. That's not bad. You've probably seen a few of these videos. I always say, if you've got to do the washing up, you want a view. That's not a bad outlook from the kitchen sink. So the kitchen, they've obviously refitted this some years ago. These are Corian worktops, but it is of that age. So if you wanted to update it, you could. Uh, the owners haven't really extended the house much because it's got lots of potential, but they did add this utility room. So that's really handy. Anyone with a dog or young children would love a utility room. The boiler, they think they replaced that about five years ago. And I've noticed all the windows and uh, doors have been replaced with UPVC double glazed units. And then come upstairs. Nice big turning staircase in these houses and they've got these great big understairs cupboards. And I'll just take you around in order, not necessarily in the biggest to smallest, but the back right hand bedroom, nice size double or twin, as you can see. Wardrobe in that one and a great view over the meadow to the back. You'll probably can see just in that corner, there's a gate into the meadow. But like I say, if you're a dog walker um, or just want to go for a walk or run, it's a lovely spot. Like I say, it's a nice shortcut to walk through to Cookfield Village and the pub there. Front bedroom here. 
Currently the home office, two offices. Again, view back over the green. So I started literally in the middle of your screen there, to give you an idea. Great outlook. And another built-in wardrobe there. Oh, sorry, missed the bathroom. Family bathroom there. This was refitted a few years ago. The, ha the house is absolutely spotlessly clean. Really has been looked after. Another cupboard there. The small front bedroom. Still a small double or very, very generous single by that today's standards. And again, another wardrobe. You can imagine if they built these houses today, they'd have squeezed them into five beds and somehow got three bathrooms in. You can see this little bit of flat roof over the garage and the uh, the ridge, ridge tiles all been replaced. It's one of those sort of heavy duty, uh, looks like sort of like a fiberglass fabric, but a great view across there. And then the main bedroom at the back with the best view. It's a nice big double bedroom in here. Two lots of wardrobes on that wall. And again, this lovely big wide window. So look at that. It's a shame it's such a rotten day because we could have uh, gone out there and had a look at it from over in the meadow. Can should have taken a photo from across there. And then an ensuite, full bathroom. Again, this was revamped a few years ago, really nicely done. And also has a separate shower cubicle. So that's the inside. So just to recap, we've got four bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs. We've got a decent living room, a dining room, and the study or whatever you want to use it as on the uh, ground floor, plus a cloakroom, a kitchen and a utility. And then what I'll do is I'm going to just take you back out the front door, show you the garage because the garage is, although it's only a single, it's a big one. Grab my shoes. Now there's plenty of driveway parking here, but I'm sure if you really wanted to, you might be able to cut into some of this bank there are drain covers here and there so obviously the drains must be very very deep as we're on a hillside here but you might be able to sort of sacrifice a bit more garden space from some more parking if you really wanted to but this garage because because we're built on a hillside or on a slope the garages are i've got this abnormally high ceiling now you think that's the ceiling of the garage that's not that's just a mezzanine floor that's been put in because way up there is a great big storage area Handy for all the junk we all normally put in the loft. And then come round the back. You've got a gate either side, so you've got side access either way you like. And round to this back garden. Again, lovely old garden. Been really well laid out. Fabulous big terrace. Imagine this in the summer with all the uh, tables and chairs out here, enjoying that evening sun. So you get fantastic wet, um, um, sunsets on this side. Now I've measured the garden uh, across the width. I've got 56 feet wide and off the back of the house, not the maximum, but off the back of the, what is the living room section to this back fence is 46 feet there. That gives you an idea. And there is a lot of potential to extend. You could certainly go out a bit further where they built that utility room. You could come out and make the dining room or the kitchen bigger and even build that wall up to make it bigger. And uh, it's a shame there's a padlock on the gate, but let me uh, just show you over the fence. Looking up there, and as you can see, these are all very well trodden. Like I say, all these fields, part of the Pages Meadow Nature Reserve, so they're all protected, we'd like to believe, although nothing seems sacred anymore in this world. But there you go, that's number 58 Bluntswood Road. It's in a beautiful location in a great part of town, ideal for families, and has even got a bit of growing room if you wanted to extend it in time. If you're interested, please contact our Hayward Teeth office.